to you first, boxing out of the blue corner, representing the Caribbean by way of Esquibo, Guyana, Revlon Lionheart Lane. And his opponent across the ring, boxing out of the red corner, representing the USA by way of Washington, D.C., Demarcus Chop Chop Corley. So Link has signaled his intention, and that's what he has to do. Oh, what a right, and Link is down. And he took out the air man. bang. Link got careless, left and done, bang. Demarcus Crowley is very quick. Look at the left and then the right cross following. Look at it. Hey, it's Trevor Monroe, you know, here with Play to Win Boxing. It's an honor. I'm standing in front of the seven-time world champion, one of my favorite fighters, Demarcus Chop Chop Corley. The man, the myth, the legend, future Hall of Famer. You already know. Um, champ, in your career, we can get started like this. Um, at what age did you start fighting? At 10 years old. I started practicing at the age of 10. I had my first fight when I was 11. Okay. And what got you into boxing? I just wanted to win trophies. I was a short little kid and uh, basketball was very hard for me. Shooting the ball in the hoop. And, uh, football, I didn't like to get hit with that equipment because I want to hit the person back that hit me. And uh, the coach asked me, did I want to box? And I said, what you get? He said, you get a trophy. Win or lose, a trophy or a medal. And that was my motivation right there. There you go, there you go. Okay, in your career you've had 89 fights. What was your toughest fight to date? My toughest, I would say Lucas Matisse. Mm. He was like a tsunami. Mm. The machine. Yeah. <laughs> he hit hard. Okay, okay. Um, you fought them all from Mayweather, Miguel Cotto, Zab Judah, Matisse, Maidana, who I think they robbed you on that one, but that's neither here nor there. Yeah. Right? Right. Um, out of all those 89 fights, right, what can you say um, was the biggest regret of your career in any of those fights? If you could go back and replay it, revisit it, you know, like what fight you wish you could have had back? Like, oh man, I almost, you know. The Cotto fight. The Cotto fight. And that why? Be, why? Because um, the referee shouldn't have never stopped the fight. I thought I was doing something smart. He hurt me with a good shot on the hip, and I took a knee. And growing up in the sport, if you get hurt, that is something you're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. Give yourself a chance to recover and get back in the fight. But I took a knee, and the referee stopped the fight, so that really hurt me a lot. Mm. Got you, got you. And um, we in 2018, what do you think about the state of boxing now? The state of boxing is very well prospered for a lot of young athletes right now, making a lot of money. And uh, I just want the fighters to get what they can get out of the sport of boxing before they change it over again. I that. I that. Um, I know that you got an apparel line, boxing shoes, gear, gloves. Um, tell the fans and the people where they could go to get that. Uh, you can go to my Instagram page, which is Chop Chop Corley. My Facebook page, I have two. One is Chop Chop Corley. The other one is Demarcus Corley. Uh, the website is down. They redoing my website as we're speaking. And uh, we're getting everything backing up and running. Okay, okay. And I, I know you got another fight coming up. How long do you think you'll be going on as a pro? How, how many I'm, more years? I'm going to finish this year out. We're going to retire next year. I'm working on getting my promoter's license. And I'm going to start promoting uh, my first fight uh, sometime this year. Okay, 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 makes sense. And um, if, if no one has gone to his IG, his IG is very entertaining, insightful. He got his kids fighting, you know, um, chop, man. It's really an honor. Um, as you came up, you said you idolized Pernell, Marvin Hagler. Um, 
Did you take anything away from any of those fighters? Did you take, you know, like a, a like a trick or two? I took a lot from Pernell Whitaker, a whole lot from Marvin Hagler. I took a lot from Sugar Ray Leonard as well because he was my manager my first four years of my career. Mm. And I got a chance to spar with him. I spar with Pernell. I shadow boxed with Marvin Hagler. Uh, I spar with Frankie Randall. I spar with a lot of uh, legend Frankie fighters. Randall. Uh, Mark Johnson, Sean Bay Mitchell, Keith Holland, Daryl Coley. Uh, the list goes on with the legend fighters out of the DMV area. I just learned a lot and I just studied the game very closely. Um, I know, like, you know, he, he's a big star now, and whatnot, but you had one of the most uh, competitive fights with Mayweather. And I know that you said that he don't really hit too hard. Um, what do you take from that fight? Like, what do you. You remember about that Floyd Mayweather then? Floyd is a very smart, technical fighter. He plays chess while you're playing checkers in the ring. And his name of the game is hit and not get hit. And in the first four rounds of the fight, the game plan was to make Floyd to exchange. We wanted to get him in a fight, a shootout. Which he was. He, he, and uh, we banging. proved the fact that, yeah, you can hey. box, but you're not as strong as people think you are at 140 pounds. And when I heard him, he realized this and he said, I'm going to go back to boxing, which is all he was telling him. I'm going to fight for boxing. Boxing. That's true. I remember that fight. That was a classic. Um, uh, all right, so Chop, man, before we go, you got any charities, any events, any things that you want to highlight? You know what I'm saying? Uh, any upcoming projects away from boxing? Here's your platform. You play to win in boxing. That's what we do. Let's back. play the win then. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm working on the asthma foundation because I have asthma. I was born with it. Uh, one of my sons have asthma as well. So uh, we're going to work on the asthma foundation and also I'm going to do some with breast cancer. Okay. Okay, nice, nice. So um, before we go, let the fans know where they can find you at on your social media. You, know, you can Instagram. find me on Instagram, which is Chop Chop Corley. I stay on IG. You can find me on Facebook, Chop Chop Corley. Also, Demarcus Corley on Facebook as well. I appreciate Play to Win for taking time out to come interview me. I'm at a horseshoe pit, so we enjoying out there. Yeah, man, out here in DC, baby. <laughs> Came all the way out here in DC, and I'm loving it. But yeah, like I said, Chop, it's an honor. You, you're a legend. I hope you know that. You know, when's the next fight, a matter of fact? This Saturday. Wow. In Memphis, Tennessee, a rematch. Okay. Vivian Harris, big payback. Oh yeah, Harris, I remember that first fight. Okay, all right, you're gonna, you gonna run it back. So um, so what's the game plan uh, without saying too much? Uh, the game plan for this fight to be more elusive against Vivian. Knock him down a couple of times, I'm going for the knockout. Okay. But I gotta be cautious because he can't punch and he did knock me down in the first round for the last fight. Okay. I knocked him down in the seventh round. So I'm going to be cautious, but I'm going to be more elusive, making a miss, hitting it with great shots. Okay, okay, okay. So there you got it. Play to win boxing. You're always in the building. We're here with De DeMarcus Chop Chop Corley, seven-time world champion. And he's still going. He's still kicking. He coming for y'all boys, man. I don't think he's stopping anytime soon. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You see how he look. So, yeah, Chop, again, it's an honor. And thank you, man. Thank Appreciate you for the time, brother. No problem. Anytime. Yeah, I think he...